Hey guys, hope you guys are doing good. I'm back here with another video and I apologize for um, taking such a long time to get this video out. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that um, I painted my tan cover a few weeks ago and um, two weeks I think to be exact. And I'm really loving how it turned out and uh, I did film the process and here it is. I'm going to add a disclaimer here. I'm not a professional. If you want to paint your leather cover, uh, there are many things to consider. You want to consider the type of paint that you will buy or you already have. What type of acrylic is it? Is it uh, leather paint? Um, is, which is, you know, acrylic that's meant for leather, which is the best option in my opinion um, and uh, you know if you're using a, just regular acrylic paints how old is your acrylic paint is it you know has it been sitting there for five years ten years um, because you know the condition of the acrylic can change especially in temperatures if it's too hot too humid or you're in uh, you know a colder climate it will affect how the leather and the uh, acrylic will react with each other what I'm using is a student grade acrylic so just make sure it's um, quality and that it's not completely uh, started to dry up Have you applied any leather conditioner before to, to the cover? Because um, my covers, I have not applied any leather conditioners or bombs whatsoever. Um, and I believe that it will adhere even better without any oils in the way. So if you have recently um, oiled your leather, uh, maybe you should reconsider painting it. Also, if you are going to paint it make sure you understand that any paint that's going to be going over the spine will most likely crack and if you're not okay with this uh, I suggest you do not paint um, near the spine or uh, even take a chance because it is an you know it's going to wear and tear and cracking is just part of um, the paint so just consider that So I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm going to choose one that is going to represent my stripes. Then I just took some acrylic paint that I had around that I never used for another project and any acrylic paint will do. Um, but if you can get leather paints that would be even better because it's more flexible and it will last longer. Uh, of course, just a little bit of water and some acrylic paintbrushes. Um, you will need a mixing surface as well. And I am just going to test out different washi tapes here. So uh, just, you know, kind of have a good idea of what stripes or lines or images you want to do. And this stage is basically just like a draft. Um, basically drafting how I want it to look like and testing it out with some strips of washi tape. And here I'm just measuring um, the distance and making sure that it's equal distance on both ends so that I'm not going to end up with uneven stripes. So if you want to be really precise, you can do that, but you don't have to, you just, you can just eye it. For example, if you're doing just a very small area, then, then you don't have to use a ruler. Of course, it's always good to make sure that everything is equal. And here I'm just uh, readjusting it because I was a little off. So um, washi tape is great for this because you can just apply it and then remove it if you want and you can do it all over again um, and it's not really damaging to the leather. And once you have your final preview of where your stripes are going to be, you're going to want to invert the design of the stripes. 
So once you invert it, then you're ready to take um, a bone folder or you can even you know, press down really hard with your fingers or use your nails and make sure the washi tape is very, very pressed down um, onto the leather so that when you do apply the paint, it won't seep under the washi tape. And that is the key here. Uh, so imagine if you didn't press it down uh, hard enough and then the paint goes underneath and it's all dry and then you pull up the tape and you don't get clean stripes. So that's why I'm taking a bone folder and I'm going uh, to press down on the edges of the tape where I'm going to be applying the paint over it so it gets a nice bleed. So I'm just doing this over and over and over and over again just to make sure that I didn't miss any uh, places and because I'm also paranoid. So uh, make sure and do it again if you have to that you have taken out any air bubbles or any creases and that your tape is adhered very strong to the leather and use your fingers if you have to. Uh, so now I'm just uh, taking, I'm just wetting my brush so it uh, sort of gets the, the bristles a little wet so it's easier to work with it with the acrylic paint and um, but make sure not to add too much water to the paint. We're not doing that here. Um, you want to use pure acrylics so that when it dries it's, it's, it's going to be flexible and it's going to be, you know, uh, well, stronger in a sense, the plastic. You don't want to dilute it too much. Uh, so I'm just trying to get the right colors here and that's all I'm doing. Um, so I'm just taking some pink, uh, a little bit of gold, and I want to just tone down the pink a little bit. Uh, and here I just wanted to get it closer to uh, the nude nat natural leather look. Um, I don't think I was very successful in that in the end, but I'm still happy with the color and I ended up with. And if I, I added a little bit of white just to soften it up a bit. So just play around with it. You can use any color you want. So it might take you a while to get to the right uh, color and consistency, but take your time. So I'm going to just uh, fast forward a bit here. Okay, so once I have the color, I'm just going to dab really gently at first. And you want to, uh, what you want to do is create a, a light first uh, layer. So what I learned from this experience is that uh, instead of starting out with the pink color, I should have started out with um, one very thin layer of the white, just white acrylic paint instead. Um, so if you are watching this, um, you know, just keep in mind to uh, not jump in with applying color right away and just use a thin layer of white paint. And this is just to make sure that your color is the most vibrant when you apply it uh, and uh, it will look better. So um, don't forget the sides too, uh, just lightly, uh, just lightly first layer. Uh, I think I did about four or five layers, but um, the first layer, you don't want to forget the edges as well. So here I am going in with a second layer and the key to making sure that the leather will not crack, uh, sorry not the leather, but uh, the paint rather, is that you are applying a very, 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 very thin layer each time. And you make sure to have it dried completely before applying the next layer. So um, I learned this lesson in this first try because I feel like I could have applied even thinner layers. And uh, if you really are planning to try this, make sure you visit my Instagram. I actually filmed a more in-depth process. So be sure to check that out. It has close-up shots of the paint um, and texture of the leather. 
just make sure that uh, your layers are very thin and give enough time for it to dry because when it's drying the leather is actually absorbing uh, the paint and the more it absorbs the more uh, chances that it's not going to crack when you do um, use your cover especially on the spine so here I am just like applying um, or just trying to get the right color so um, so once my first um, foundational la layer is dried I go in with my actual color as my second layer or third depending on how many foundational layers I needed to create in more of an opaque white um, I hope this is making sense but yeah so um, so I don't really like this color pink. I think it's a little too pink. Um, so I think I did go over it again uh, just to change up the color. Again, I'm doing the edges here. Just being very careful not to um, paint on the outer side of the edge. I don't want it to get on the inner cover. So yeah. Just being very careful and really this actually was pretty daunting at first and um, the reason why I decided to paint my leather cover is because I spilled some ink on my Hobonichi cover and if you saw my previous video then you'll know that um, I decided to use acrylics to just create uh, like a painting on the front to just cover the uh, splotch up so um, I really liked how that turned out so that's why I decided you know what it's time to take on this TN cover and I'm so glad I did and I'm still learning uh, so please uh, keep in mind that I am not a leather painting professional so I mean an artist that paints on leather so um, please uh, just take that into consideration and paint at your own risk. Uh, what you're seeing here is me removing the washi tape and this is after I think the final layer of course and I took it off when it was half dry um, and uh, you can see where the washi tape has been removed but don't worry that's just going to smooth out over time. Um, so it's all dry now and I'm really loving the look of it and I'm just applying the superior labor clip at the top. Um, yeah, so if you want to see me paint my passport uh, camel, then as I suggested, it is in my um, Instagram at Talksmod, and uh, I have more information on there. So be sure to check that out. Um, I have close-up pictures of the paint drying and the texture, so hopefully that will help you. And uh, here is the actual passport that I painted, and I'm actually really loving it. So I hope this video helps you if you are curious of how I painted my TN passport, and it will give you some ideas for your own design, uh, for painting your cover. Hopefully uh, this helps anybody um, that is having second thoughts or too scared to paint the covers. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will be sure to answer them.